Hey, good morning, everyone. It's Agent Vincent, and uh, we're back with some more Death Stranding today. Getting some more ceramics, building more roads, doing more story missions. But it's going to be kind of a chill day. It's actually going to kind of, kind of be a little bit of an odd day. Um, I'm starting a little bit later because I was doing like a lot of like just research on like the YouTube editor and things like that. And I found some stuff out that was kind of useful. Um, the other thing, too, is Lens will be home by noon because of like how her schedule works so it's just going to be kind of like a weird flow like the stream might be shorter in the morning if anything and then the evening stream might be a little bit longer i'm not too sure how, how today is going to go but thank you for people who are here already it looks like we already got two likes on the stream i appreciate it and i also do want to remind everyone that dvr is on so make sure that you know you're live by looking at the at the live indicator at the very bottom of the playback screen to make sure that you're live um, otherwise, uh, you know, you'll be missing out on some cool shenanigans. Um, mostly DVR is on for clips. So that way you guys can clip things. Um, we'll probably make a channel for that in Discord as well. I probably need to get a command ready for the Discord as well. Because uh, I think we're pretty close to letting that just kind of be open for discoverability and everything like that. Um, I kind of want to talk to a few people first to make sure people are comfortable. And uh, we'll kind of go from there. Um... There's really not a whole lot to kind of talk about from like the channel update other than thank you for like all the support yesterday for the uh for the people who get that who did the subs that's awesome uh and also for just how everyone's kind of just interacting on discord it's been really cool and the night and the boosting uh you know we went from no boost to seven boost uh that yesterday and it was uh pretty amazing so it's awesome hey rick good morning how are you how are you rick And uh, the other, the only thing we got to talk right now is kind of some bummer news a little bit. Well, it's bummer news. It's weird news. It's odd news. It's stupid news. It's all it's all kind of dumb. Uh, but before I get to that, uh, I'm doing good, Rick. Uh, you know, kind of kind of waking up a little bit still. I was up at like at 7:30. Uh, they're cutting a tree outside. <laughs> Finally, we had one tree that literally upended our entire sidewalk. Uh, it's been like that for like three and a half since we actually owned the house. Uh, so, uh, they're finally cutting down the one tree. I was hoping they'd cut down all three of them on the curb today, but one I'll take. Um, but I'm doing well, you know, uh, learned some really cool things with the editor here, trying to understand the, the highlights and clips and the, and the way you can kind of make that stuff for YouTube. So that way we can start making more video content instead of just streams, uh, that way, uh, th there, there's that whole thing. Let me actually switch over to the, uh, to the other thing, uh, bummer news is just the is it the PlayStation stuff. Uh, I was gonna get into that here in a little bit, but let's actually uh, kind of go into the chat screen here, uh, real quick, just so that way I don't have anything else in the background here. Um, I love how I'm using the PlayStation 5's background music to actually like just to talk about this, which I don't even know how if you guys can even hear that or or, or whatnot. Um, oh, okay, no, I thought something was going on with you and got worried. Uh -uh, I would not announce that type of stuff on a live stream. That's one thing I would not do. That would be that would be posted in Discord first, before then announcing that on uh, on YouTube. Like that would be that would be how that chain of command would go. <laughs> you know, it would not be like a whole yeah everything's fine. Then like oh yeah, uh, YouTube. Oh yeah, guys, I gotta quit YouTube streaming. Like nah, like that's, that's just not gonna happen that way. No, nah, it's just uh, waking up to the uh, to the PS5 price increase news was kind of a kind of a bummer, uh, considering you know how much everyone's pissed off about it. Uh, and just a couple other things that was just kind of like, oh, this is kind of, uh, odd. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, we can, we'll probably save for the PlayStation stuff yet, because I'm sure people are going to come in there and talk about that. Um, cool thing was I did do, like, around, like, a, uh, 45 minute survey last night from YouTube, and that was, uh, it was pretty interesting. It was a pretty interesting survey to, to kind of be doing, um. So I was doing it kind of like midnight, so I was exhausted. <laughs> um, but it was I was checking out because they updated the YouTube Studio app on 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 phones. And I was like, oh, let's just see what it looks better. It's really cool. Like now I have like a monetization tab inside that, so I can actually see like my progress like on where I'm going. Like I'm at 94 subscribers out of the 1,000. I'm at the public at watch hours. Like I can see that stuff on the app now, so that's actually kind of cool. And there's just some other like it's just it's got like a, it just it, it's a little bit nicer, a little bit more fluid. And that type of stuff, so it's actually kind of cool. It's probably because of just making shorts and everything like that. Um, but I, I saw that I had a banner there, like we like to survey you for YouTube products and everything and services. And I was like, okay, fine, whatever. And 
it was a very long survey. It was just it was more talking about like how do I feel as a creator on the platform based off my interest, which was which was gaming and live streaming. And it was like how do I feel about this in comparison to this? Like, you know, they 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 said, hey, do you know Twitch? And it was like, yeah, I know Twitch. I was affiliated, everything like that type of stuff. And it was like this 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 comparative of like YouTube cares, whereas you like Twitch doesn't. Like it was like a lot of that type of stuff. Hey, Mel. Welcome, welcome in. We're just talking about the like the forty-five minute YouTube survey I did last night, like at like midnight. But hope you're doing well today, Mel. And you know, thank you to Rick and Mel also for being Discord memberships. You know, I appreciate that, guys. It was really cool to kind of see yesterday. Um, but yeah, like it like it wasn't anything really crazy, but it was just uh, it was just interesting to see how it was like. Well, hey, do you know about this? And it was like. Uh, gaming creator on the rise and I was like I have no idea what that is I've never even heard of it I've never heard of creator on the rise and then it was like well you know where you can get resources for your stuff and I was like yeah I do and then it was like well how do you feel like you know like it was like are you satisfied does someone just you know like the you, you know like the five opinion things there you know where you do like you like I'm very satisfied somewhat satisfied neither satisfied nor just like you know does that and it was like well how do you feel about your chances of monetization and I was like <laughs> I was like dissatisfied and like you know, there's comments in there, and again, I just reiterated, like you know, it's like I the, the the partnership program is such a long goal to get to. It's like I understand why, but I was like, you you guys could obviously, um, I, in my opinion, break things up to make it to where like small creators like me, like like it kept saying like, can you fought like you can foster a community on YouTube? And I was like, no, I can't foster a community on YouTube because like I don't get that community feature until I get 500 subs, like. I don't, like I, it was just one of those things where it was just like you guys like some of those other big stuff like that that's great and all but like for smaller people like us especially for streamers it's like I get that like we're we're the weird one of the group yeah like that's a, that's the a thing for me is like I'm at like 25 a little bit more than 25 percent actually no yeah a little like more like 35 percent for the watch hour metric you know Oh, weirdo. Oh, God. We got store in here, everyone. Um, but, like, it was one of those things. It was, like, there has to be some better, like, some easier to make milestones to where we can unlock that type of stuff as we progress through our partnership. And, like, one of the best ways I think they, they showed that was that was, like, well, how do you feel about YouTube right now? And they had, like, and they're, like, think of it as, like, a person. It was, like, select up the two, and it was, like... You know, they had like, you know, best friend. It was it was kind of funny some of the options they had. It was like best friend, lover, committed relationship, uh, like just a whole bunch of them and everything like that. And it was like casual friend, teammate, things like that. And I, I picked casual friend and teammate because I was like that this is where they are. But then I was like, but it was like where I want it to be is a committed partnership. That's what I want. Like I th that's what I want. I want that whole platform to be. That actually was a choice there. Friend of me. That was actually a choice. I didn't quite like that one but that was a choice mel i'm not i'm not joking it was the very last choice friend of me it was um and uh and that's what i said and then like they were kind of trying to like explain like trying to see like well, why do i feel like that and i was like right now it's a casual friend on certain aspects it's a teammate in the aspects of like the analytics and everything like that like i can see trends i can see that type of stuff clearly in the youtube analytics page i can see that type of stuff but I was like, but my discoverability and things of where I'm actually situated at, you're not really telling me that data. You're not really showing me or letting me see where I can do anything to improve on anything like that. Um, that's where it was like that whole thing. It was like a committed partnership would be much more like, you know, you need to like let, show me on like where you think. Because it's, it's, you know, it's all algorithm based. It's all systems. Like, just show me where you think I can go. You know, and even if I don't follow that path directly, there's at least a guideline that can kind of somewhat help on that. Not just me, though. Uh, but it was, it was cool. Like it was, it was cool and all. And I, I think there's going to be changes happening, especially with Twitch, uh, getting rid of the exclusivity stuff, which isn't really getting rid of it. It's just loosening up some of the terms, I think, cause they were, uh, some, some, some big, some of the more mid to big streamers are kind of being like, yo, this is stupid. Like, so, and that actually corresponds to the leak we saw on Bloomberg, like back in like April. So it doesn't even really make me even happy to see what Twitch is doing. Cause I was like, Oh cool. That's one thing from the leak. That's true. It's like, well, if the other things are true, then, then like, there's really kind of no point for me still in that platform as of right now. Um, you know, that could all change whenever we get to AV one encoding and other things like that. Uh, the other thing too, was just, uh, 
you know, like with YouTube, like they just announced that they like on iOS, if you guys make clips, those clips can become into shorts. Now, I still think it's weird that you guys can make clips of a channel to make a shorts for your channel based off my content. It's kind of odd, but I also understand what they're doing. They're trying to make it to where like, they can sit there and just constantly be f having anyone feed into that shorts algorithm. I get it. It's they're literally throwing just more fuel on the fire for that. Um, but like, again, that's going to be kind of cool. And then like, uh, there's apparently talks of the clips or short videos being able to make into a shorts editor. They're going to, they're going to try to do as well. I don't know how true that is. It's been talks. Um, I know the mobile app on my end changed its live stream stuff, stuff a little bit. Um, I was checking out a couple things there, even looking at some of my old VODs and I was like, oh, if you put the phone in like, um, landscape mode, the chat and everything like that is actually kind of nice and segmented out. Uh, it's pretty much like Twitch's layout. So that was kind of cool to see. Did dark side design that feature? We could call it the dark side feature. <laughs> we need to be careful. It's public here. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, it's one of those things. So that that's where we kind of talked about a little bit on this morning. So I think, I think what we'll probably do considering we're on DVR now is if you guys do clips, got it, store it, stop it. <laughs> Have you no decency? <laughs> um, uh, we'll make a channel for clips. That way, if you guys make them, you guys can post them in there and then I can actually use them to either grab like say hey like you know this was it and i actually would like to credit that like say if like mel clipped something really funny on death stranding like whatever you know and i make a short i like to say this like i would like to say like you know content uh con like you know highlight uh suggested by like mel or whatever like i would like to kind of do that type of stuff that way there's a little bit more of that community aspect with it kind of like what twitch's clips do a little bit You've known each other for years. You know I do not. <laughs> I know. I know, buddy. It's okay. Um, what else? What else is there? Intel acquired by... There you go. There, Mel, see? Already. You guys are the think tank. I mean, we might need to make that the room for the... Uh, for Instead of the marketing department, we need to make that the think tank. I'm going to change that right now. Otherwise, I'm going to forget about it. Instead of marketing department, it's going to be think tank for the, uh, for the, for the uh, level three. Think Tank. Have you never heard of that? Uh, no, 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 not make a roll. <laughs> Stop making rolls. We're not role playing here, store. Not today. It's only on Fridays, bud. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's uh, let's get into the game screen here. Uh, and then yeah, we had the uh, the bummer news of PlayStation increasing its uh, price. You know, the PS5 increasing its price, especially mostly in Europe. Uh, no store just stop just stop right now just just stop right now um but yeah no that that sucked to see it today um i feel like I'll, i feel like some people are overreacting a little bit i think it's stupid do not get me wrong i think it's dumb because they increased the price but they didn't give something back in benefit of that like saying hey cause like i think when you get your ps5 or like when you get a PlayStation console you should get like what they gotta fund that core case. That core case is so dumb, and like people don't realize, like it's co like there's like there's just cause and effect. But regardless, when when you hey, this console's been out for over a year. Time to increase the price. It's because the exchange rate failed. Store. I mean, that's the that's the unfortunate thing that sucks about it. In in in, uh, in long term, at like not long term, in mid term stuff, that's where the worst part of it is. Is it's just the exchange rates and everything like that sucks for Sony. But at the same time, it's one of those things to where I think they could have not like they're making mad money on this shit. Well, that was a the thing. Their quarters were like saying, yeah, they did that, but they also lost 30% of their revenue from the quarter. Like, you know, like that's the thing. Like, and you have a competitor now who's trying to outbuy them on production lines. TSMC is also increasing its price for stuff like that. Like that's the problem. Like, I get it, store. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I'm not going to sit there and tell anyone, like, oh, you're stupid for thinking that way. Like, no, you're right. It's dumb. But the unfortunate thing is there's, like, so many other factors that are being played into this that are tipping the hand there, which sucks. 
And that's where I think what Sony should have done is if they had to increase this price, they should have also made to saying, hey, when you're buying this console now for those people, yes, we know the price sucks. This is why we are giving you, I would say, PlayStation Plus Extra six months right off the bat. You have six months of games to there. Cap, I got a message. A message got removed. And I got an error message. Really? On here? Right, Mel. It would have been to soften the blow because you gotta remember with the extra with the extra catalog, that would have made it to where, you know, and then you'd also have Ubisoft Classics. Weird store. Um if you can screenshot that and send that to me on DM, that'd be perfect, man. I, I see the thing with about a month was that like I think that's what you kinda get already, or do you only get like seven or fourteen days? I okay. I would say let's say three months. Three months there. Three months by that point, you've kind of already refactored that in a little bit. And I think that would have, and you would have gone two weeks. Okay. So a month at the latest, three months if they were feeling generous, six months for them to go over a board. Yeah. And then like, that's the other thing too, Rick. Bad look when the competition is doing either. Most gamers are just going to see Nintendo, Microsoft, even aren't doing that should support them instead the problem is though look how the, the switch the switch dropped price once for twenty dollars in the 5.5 years that it's existed it's actually been expensive to get that console still because there actually hasn't been a price drop on it i'm just saying <laughs> you know and i mean that's the thing you know and with microsoft like yeah nintendo never drops price we all know that <laughs> you know so that's just what's even funnier to me. It, they never, like, people just keep going, oh, they don't raise the price, but they also don't drop the price. Like, that Switch could be cheaper, and they they just won't do it. We had six viewers at one point, and we lost, like, two people. <laughs> Nintendo, a bunch of assholes. And that's also the reason why I don't like how everyone's kind of, like, sitting there going, oh, Microsoft's going to do this. Like, they're not going to do anything as well. It's like, yeah, they can eat it. But people forget their fabrication costs more than the PS5 fabrication. So they're going to, they, yeah, sure. They can eat that 100%. They're Microsoft. But that cost is going to come someplace, somewhere. Maybe not now, but man, when Game Pass Ultimate hits $24.99, 30 bucks a month, the bill will have to be paid at some point. It's just going to be a matter of when, you know? But anyway, that's kind of all I really want to talk about, like, about that today. Because, like, it sucks. Like, in the, in the short term, long term, whatever, however way you want to pay for that type of stuff, it sucks. It's 100% sucks. I think Sony could have done a better job with making a, a better, like, saying, yes, we had to increase the price on our hardware. But, like, you know, we're going to still try to offer you these benefits because we appreciate your business. You know, it doesn't feel like that still right now. And I, I think it's, it's an unfocused error out of so many other unfocused errors from Sony. It's dumb. I hate it. And it's, uh, we'll have to see what happens. Uh, it's uh, Final Fantasy 16 is trending in Japan right now because there's anxiety on, you know, can I play this game because of the console increase price? And that's a thing that it's not coming to PC day one from what I understand. You know, like, that's a thing. So, I don't know. But hey, you know what? Probably because we had bad news, we're probably going to get a showcase announcement in like in the next 24 hours. So, you know, it kind of works out, right? It kind of works out. We'll see some Spider-Man 2. We'll see some Wolverine. Everyone will forget about it and everyone will be fine, right? That's how it's going to work, right? <laughs> Uh, it's a terrible. That's a, that's a terrible way of thinking about it, but it is what it is. Yo ho, fiddle d. Are you a pirate now, store? Because you can be a pirate in Destiny too. All right, there's my there's my Bungie uh, corporate uh, post. Hi Bungie, hire me, please. Anyway, let's get into Death Stranding. <laughs> All right. Um, we should have our ranked stuff. I think. Coming now. Scanning bridges ID. Hey, ranked uh, rewards. Yeah, so yeah, so this season right now, Mel, is called uh, Season of the Plunder. Um, so right now we're playing with the Drifter, uh, Mithrax, and the Spider. People I know you have no idea whose names are, uh, 
But um, Aramis, the villain from Beyond Light, who was frozen at the end of Beyond Light, is now free, and we're wrapping up that story thread, and it's all about pirates. So the activity is actually a blast. I was having a lot of fun uh, last night with that. It's a six-player activity. You just It's essentially you are just going in, and like you're being a... Uh, a pirate, you're just like you're just shooting cannonballs at catch ships, and you're going and plundering uh, tr uh, treasure and everything like that. And then the three man activity I haven't done yet, but I saw a description for it. And it was like you throw your treasure into your uh, horde, like it's like one of those things. Like as you kill enemies, like they drop the orbs, and you gotta like throw them into like the like the chest and everything like that. So we might look at that later tonight, depending on how this goes. I know Spider, I vacuumed that bastard. You're a terrible store. Uh, what do we got here? I'm sorry. Uh, rewards cannot be claimed. Okay. Rewards earned for ores on taken between 15 and 22 are available to claim. To claim these rewards, exit delivery terminal of facility and select shared locker, followed by claim. All right. So there. So we have a new ranked, uh, new ranked thing going here to so the 29th. All right. So we're in Lake Knot City. Clear. Weapons detected. All weapons. No, we're not. Yeah, we're in Lake Knot City. So... We need to take this delivery to uh, South Knot, right? And we actually have South Knot's road completely built. Yep. We have that all completely built. So now it would be building out essentially this road next, I think, to get here. Uh, to make this easier, I think, and make us come back this way, it's actually probably going to be the easiest way because then we'll just complete it that way. I think trying to go up this way and around is just going to be too hard. Um so let's try to do that first right now as we kind of get a little bit more into it. And we have those rewards here. All clear. Welcome. Let's see. We got dropped. Cargo was delivered. I lost complete track of this. A road to use rebuilt by someone else. Re rebuild someone else. I was waiting for this log to be done. 27,602 likes is what we just got there. So, yeah, we have a total of 269,589 likes. Look at us. Look at us go. The people down in South All right, yeah, we, we, we talked about this, die, uh, dead man. Not dead man, die hard man. Jesus. What is wrong with me? Yeah, 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 whatever. Okay, so now if we go to the... Uh, Ugh, gotta make food. What are you gonna make? Claim ranking rewards. So we got 400 medals times 39 plus rainbow medals. We got rainbow medals. All right. And then we got this one, which is gonna be 400 medals, and we got a gold medal. Jesus Christ, look at all these goddamn medals. <laughs> Can I just select all of them? And I just need to move them to, uh, here. Let me, let me, that's a lot of metal. Oh my God, I think I just built the rest of my, like most of my roads here for the most part. Not really, it's not, I'm gonna be able to build like six of them. All right, let's place in our private locker. Oh, I forgot you can hold square. Oh my God, that's so much easier now, okay. Place in private locker. All right, so let's confirm. All right, then let's go here. Oops, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to activate the terminal here. And then we have a lot of metals here. We have uh, we have a good amount of metals here. We have a good amount of ceramics. So let's just go ahead and get to our private locker. Let's close this down. Let's open this up. Can I load on the reverse trike? Ooh, no, 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 no. Yeah, that's fine. All right, I need to get rid of some of these. Dispose, dispose. That way we just have them out of the way. Okay, uh, so I think, let's see if anyone has a trike here. Or I guess I can actually build a truck now, right? Can I fabricate the truck? I can. Let's fabricate our own truck now. And then let's just confirm. 
So there's our truck now. Does your McDonald's deliver to me? Load on the truck. Load on the truck. Load on the truck. Load on the truck? Oh my god, how much can this truck hold? Holy shit! How much does this thing hold? Alright, no. So I can't do those. Let me try to do two. No, so that's off, that's off set there. We'll load one. Wow. What is in the truck right now? 28 items. So it can hold 28 XLs. So I wish, I really wish that the trucks would tell me this. Like, I wish I could see that stuff better. I don't know. Maybe there's a menu that I missed that tells you that type of stuff. But man, would that be so much nicer to see. Hold up one second. Oh, shit. My Destiny stuff came through. Fuck. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, it tells you in the app that comes with the game. You remember what's the thing? Here, you know what? Fabricate equipment. Let me see. Does it actually tell you? Uh, so I pre-ordered the collector's edition of Destiny 2 Lightfall, which is why I told you guys, you guys are probably going to see a lot of that. The collector's edition was 285 I really didn't have the money for it, but I did it anyway because I've never bought, I've always bought all digital CE versions of everything like that. And uh, Lightfalls, has anyone watched the Lightfall trailer? Because Lightfalls aesthetic is 1000% my thing. And guys, 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 so we're getting a new darkness power, right? So, you know, you had solar, arc, and void for, like, the uh, regular light powers. Then we got stasis with beyond light as a darkness power. We didn't get a new darkness power with Witch Queen. We're getting a new darkness power with Lightfall. Does anyone take a, st does anyone take a st uh, stab at the, light at the new power? It's usually just one word. I, I take it as a sign. I take it as a sign, completely. Cause it's crazy. So yeah, it does not tell me. It does not tell tell me how much the, the truck can carry. It's agent spy. No. It does not. It's strand. Yeah, the new darkness power is called Strand. What? Yeah. I was like, we're getting grapples now? An ancient power called Mike's Griff. Mike's Griff. How the hell, hell was I supposed to know? By, by knowing the things that I like store. All right, I know this is Death Stranding, but hold up. Hold up. That's the new location. That's the bad guys. The music is gonna be so good. Well, we're getting it. And that's a new that's a new friendly. 
Let them come. That's the bad guy. The TV show for this game is going to be insane. That is who they are. But see, we're getting we're getting grapples. We're becoming Spider-Man. Yeah. So that's next February. So, yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be crazy. All right. And I think we had someone in here. Uh, hello. Hello. Good morning, Sam. But unfortunately, I don't know what they're saying, so they might be insulting me for all I know. But yeah, no, I'm extremely excited. But yeah, the new power is called Strand, so we'll have grapples now and everything like that. It got Ragnarok'd. Someone's happy. Yeah, that was actually probably one of like their better uh, trailers they did for an expansion. Uh, but man, I can't wait. Right? I mean, it's got like it's got like an entire like netrunner feel to it, which makes me just super excited. Right? I, Mel, the moment I heard like when Mike texted me that work, I was like, "Are you fucking kidding me?" <laughs> like, I was like, "That's a sign. That's a sign right there." Yeah, I can't wait. We're getting loadouts. They're redoing the entire new player base. They are not sunsetting any more content other than seasons, but like no expansion or anything like that are leaving anymore. Um, so loadouts are massive. Like being able to swap between our arc build, a light avoid build, a strand build, all between that type of stuff is gonna be insane. Um, and just, they are pushing their engine to the limit with the terms of mo mobility and everything like that. Um, and they're not ending the game. Like, I know, like, that was kind of one of the things everyone's like, oh, how many years is Destiny 2 having a tank left? And it's like, that's it. Like, they essentially said, no, many years to come still. So, it's pretty crazy. Keep on keeping on. All right. So let's start putting our medals here now. I also like I think how like that's like the battery for the for the truck on the back. Or is that our capacity? That might be our capacity. I mean we'll find out here in a minute. But yeah, so strand I'm taking is gonna be more like a wind based type deal, which is gonna be awesome. Destiny 3 is not happening, Italian Mob. They already said that. And, but good morning to you as well. But yeah, no, Destiny 3 is officially off the books. That's not happening anymore. But yeah, like, I think if there's enough interest, I think it would actually be really cool because I think anyone knows me. I'm not really great at all the community type stuff. I'm not, I'm not that great at that type of stuff when it comes to that. I think that, oh, you meant that I had a look of Thor Ragnarok store. Yeah. Okay. That's what I was going to say. Like the logo. Yeah. Um, yeah. <clears throat> but I think if there's an interest in that in destiny 2 and we want to start like 
people want to start like learning how to play the game, I was like, I will start like, um, you know, we can start running community nights for that type of game. And uh, start kind of working with you guys on that. Um, that could also be like a couple of the watch alons is the lore because there's so much behind it now. It's so crazy. Oh, oh. And Mel, that's actually one of the reasons why I was asking you about how much Lord of the Rings lore you knew. Because if, uh, if, uh, if, uh, you know how that world starts, I think they're doing that for the opening, and I'm going to cry. Because <laughs> it's going to be amazing. Yeah. A few things clicked last night that I forgot names, and I was like, oh shit, <laughs> like tight deal. <laughs> All right, so we got this road started. That's our cargo. That tells us our limit on cargo, it looks like. Or may no, it might be battery. Alright, so we're loading a new BT area. There's a lot of BTs around here. Mel, I cannot wait. I have heard nothing but good things about that actress. I have heard nothing but good things. Her theme is amazing, in my opinion. Okay. She voices it perfect, too. In my opinion. I know you haven't. I'm just saying, like, her theme is probably my favorite thing uh, of the score so far. Alright, so we'll have... We're getting all these roads kind of rebuilt here. But then going back to the store, Community Nights use level 2 chat. So I think what will happen is I would let Community Nights still be open for everyone. But I would try to know who was level 2 or, um, or I'm sorry, like at least level 1. You know, like the, uh, you know, the people who are at least subbed on the Discord to where it'd be like, you guys have priority on like joining the fire team. Like say if we only had like, if we had like five members here, it'd be like, okay, those five people get to join until someone backs out for that type of stuff. That's how, that's kind of how I would do it a little bit. Um, you know, and I don't know. We would have to kind of play that by ear because, like, Destiny doesn't support six for, like, every single activity. Um, you know, and Fall Guys, like, only does, like, three. You know, like, you have to, like, be stuff like that. So, yeah, this is definitely cargo on the back end. So, I can see that then. The cargo tells you that's what the indicator is there for a cargo standpoint. Sam. We're at least getting medals all over the place here. Oh god. It's it's sad how like on YouTube already though I'm starting to get like those types of videos. I'm like starting to get those and I've had to been like not interested. Not interested. I feel like I'm like fucking cloud strife over here. Not interested. Not interested. Just like oh. come on guys. Yeah, I can't wait um, 
I just can't believe the production of that show. That's I think it's what I think it's what mind boggles me the most. It's the worst, and I can't believe how bad She-Hulk got review bombed. Like I can't believe how bad. This is, like I haven't even seen the show, but I've seen the clip of the one, uh, her, the, her one line, and I was like, imagine being that mad about a line like that, to where you have to go and negatively review bomb something because your feelings are hurt. Oh, story sent that message there. Let me give me one second here. Might be too many caps then, store on your end, which is weird considering that you are a uh, mod. That's actually kind of odd there a little bit. It's also the only feminist line in the episode. They portray uh, portray Bruce really well. And I don't like what I've seen, but I ain't gonna do much more about it than go like no like. Gotcha. I'm bleeding on my leg. I'll be right back.
Okay, wait, hold up, I'm back. Okay. Uh, blah, 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 blah. They also portray Bruce really well. Okay, all right, time to spam caps. It's a stream. To be fair, I like. I feel like you've only seen that line CGI bad post store. Jesse Height, pretty much all the hive mind is focusing on. Maybe it's just a connection fluke, or maybe it was a cast. But if I spam a fuck ton of cast, we can all alleviate the troubleshooting. So that's all that's said about that. The CGI is fine. I saw clips of the trailer. I basically seen the show already. Uh, Rick, so um, check your privilege, maybe. I miss Moon Knight. Yeah, the final version was much better than the trailer CG wise. Low store, say Mel and Loki. Cap by. I miss Mel. See what I did there? All right. All right, I see no one appreciates my bronze. I'll go cry myself to sleep now. Okay, buddy. Sorry, guys. I didn't realize what, like, I must have, like, scratched myself or something, but it was actually kind of like a decent cut. So I was, like, bleeding, like, all the way down my ankle. It's weird. I got a Band-Aid on now, though, so I'm fine. <clears throat> all right. We're getting this. Make a grenade. I wish. All right, so that goes to the mule camp. So then do the road, does the road go all the way around? It does. Better be a SpongeBob Band-Aid. No, it's actually this big, massive Band-Aid because it was the only thing I could find. <laughs> like, there's no need for me to have the size Band-Aid that I have on currently. It's up this road then. We're not gonna have enough battery here. Yeah. I know, I know, I know. It's not, it's actually the weight because we're actually almost emptied. I, I was thinking that too, but there was no need for that. So it shows the weight of what's in the vehicle. All right, so this one's not going to have enough there, but we'll add that in. Confirm that. Wow. I fucking hate you. <laughs> well, this is a mule camp in front of us. What do we have on here? We have a bullet gun and we have a maser gun. Where's the clipping? We gotta clip that. No, we don't. Alright, so we have a speed skeleton here. So I think... Let's grab a couple of these here real quick. Okay. I guess I should have grabbed the uh, the car, the truck, just in case, but oh well. There we go. Alright, hold up. Go down the hill, there we go. God, BB, shut up. <laughs> so how about that Sonic Frontiers trailer, guys? It's only a, it's only a week away, Mel. All right, so where's their uh, where's their thing at? All right, there's their thing. A 
Let's scan this out first, see if we have any other surprises. Nope. Fucking Sonic. Right? Ah, that wasn't fast enough. I should be fine if I get in here. No, store. knock these guys out. Okay. Yep, come here to the bush of death. fine. Come on out, guys. And we got one guy down. Okay. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. We still have six here. All right, another one down. All right, so these guys are all sleeping here. that guy down. That was a good shot. It was a long shot. So, it, wow, we still have more coming. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's another six coming. Holy shit. Let's grab this smoke grenade just in case. That guy's down. I need to run over there. Go to sleep. down. Move. I got 10 shots left. Shit. Go to sleep.
All right. It's just down to these two. Okay. Whew. Yeah, we did a good job there. Well, nice. All right, let's uh, let's pick up this guy here. There we go. Um, so we really can't carry a whole bunch here unless there's a truck. I know that much. So we got a couple post box around here. We'd always go grab the truck here to see what else we got. Oops. I don't think I. I actually avoided this area and never came back to this area once I passed through it on the, uh, on the, uh, in the initial game. So this is kind of cool to come back and do that, you know? Um. It is also weird, though, that there's not that many, like, materials around here. Let's do this. Let's grab the Omni Reflector boots. Let's go grab the truck and let's load stuff in. We can go from there. Hold up one second. Okay. But yeah. Uh, I also do know that The Last of Us Part 1's uh, file size was uh, finally found. 66.9 gigabytes. Sorry, 0 .08 gigabytes, not 9. So, pretty decently big game. Two wheels up. Alright, so let's just grab this stuff here real quick. Just so we have it. Stamina decreased. Let's open up the cargo menu. So let's go ahead and move the ceramics, the metals, ceramics, 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 the resins, and the resin. Let's move that all onto the truck. Let's auto arrange our cargo and let's save. Okay. I was gonna say, I hope I don't crush one of these guys. It's like one of the, like their heads. Like all of a sudden, just like murder them. Uh, so we have some ceramics and ceramics. Let's grab those. So we can at least go feed those back into the road. You know? Then we have metals, ceramics, and everything like that. So let's go ahead and grab this as well. We'll grab this stuff here. Ceramics. Okay. Red versus blue day is almost here. So yeah, so tomorrow night. So um, we'll stream a little bit of, I think... I think of Death Stranding tomorrow night, or... Yeah, we'll probably do some Death Stranding, so that way we can just get some, some more of that done. Um, but then we will, uh, we'll, like, play until, like, you know, 9.30ish, something like that, and then we will go and watch Season 2 of Red vs. Blue. Maybe if everyone's feeling up to it, maybe we'll do Season 3 as well. Go real crazy. Because I would, I'm off Saturday, so I was gonna stream again Saturday, so I could just, um, we could actually have like a very fun night, I think. Two whole seasons? I think so. They're only an hour and 15 each. So it would be like around like a two and a half hour long movie, close to it, somewhat, you know? So I, I don't see why that would not, why that would not work. You know, it just depends on like if store has to go to bed or something like that. That would be the only thing we have to watch for. Love you, store. I'm 
go check out this post box to see if there's anything important here. I doubt it. You got late shift next week? Yeah, there's only a stun bomb in here. Okay. Yeah, nap after work Friday. So, for for Friday, like this Friday, store, would like a 10 p.m. Eastern time work for you if we were trying to do two full seasons? Because I need my, I need Caboose to be there. I need Caboose to be there. Probably, yeah. You don't seem as excited. Looked it up. Store what would look better for you, just out of curiosity. Gotcha. Shit, say like 8 p.m. for watch long is 2 a.m. for me. Okay. So... Should we just make tomorrow night just a full watch along night then? Like start at 6 o'clock, 6.30 or something like that, and just watch Red vs. Blue like all night? That's up to everyone else. I mean, if that's what you guys would like, hold up. Shut up. Shut up, BBs. BBs. Shut up, BTs is what I meant to say. Let me take a look here real quick. Let me do the, uh... Oh, shit. That's available for pre-order. It's on my wish list. Oh. That's cool. Uh... Give me a second here. Uh, red versus blue. Season 13. That's not the correct thing I wanted. Screw off. All right, so complete season. Season two is an hour and 32 minutes. Season three is two hours and 11 minutes. Season four is an hour and 39. Season five is two hours. So let's do the round up. Oh, sweet ceramics. Oh, Denny, you're here. <laughs> oh, sweet caramins. <laughs> Hi, Denny. No, so if we did... Hold up. Hold up. Let's do this. Let's just do this proper. So, clear everything here. So, 1.5 plus 2 plus 1.5 plus 2. That's 7 hours. If I start at 6 o'clock, or if I start at 6 o'clock, 6, that would be uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1. That would be 1 a.m. here. So, we would not do, we would not do season f uh, 5. We could do seasons two, three, and four tomorrow night if I would start six o'clock and six o'clock, and we just did that on Discord, right? So one point five plus two plus uh, one point five again. So yeah, five hours. That would actually work. We could do that. Yeah, we just did season one, so we could do two to four. We could do two to four. All right. So is that what we're gonna do then? Because then I need to actually get rid of that scheduled stream then. So that's going to be to be determined six. I'm going to make that the 27th. And I can just say the 27th. I can sit there and just stack. I can stack them on different times. I'll do one for the morning and then I'll do one for the evening. That's what I'll do. All right. Well, that's what we'll do then, guys. That's, that's what we'll do. We'll do a red versus blue watch along 
uh, tomorrow, starting like around 6, 6.30ish, and that's what we'll do. Yes. What in the Sam hell is a Puma? <laughs> Are you talking about the shoe company? No, no, no. It's like a cat. <laughs> no, it should be a fun time then, and that's going to be open for everyone, so everyone will be able to come and watch that. I might have to get some chips myself and everything like that. What other animal has tusk? A walrus. Didn't I tell you to stop making up animals? <laughs> Peace tone. <laughs> Denny, we said that you were most like Tucker. I hope you don't take that as an insult. Because store's obviously caboose. We said, uh, Rick, we said that you were Simmons. We said that you were Simmons. Mike was Griff. We really don't have anyone who's Sarge, to be honest, I don't think. Mel's still waiting on picking uh, her uh, her person. Why the fuck did I come into shit talking? We didn't. You didn't come into. Now let me be the meta. <laughs> oh no, we're not shit talking, Mike. We were just saying how it's just funny. Uh, we were just saying it was funny how like, you were like, I think I'm most like Sarge. You shot Church. <laughs> uh, Mel's probably like meta. Who the fuck is meta? But yeah, no. I mean, we were talking like the first seasons here, Rick. As of right now. Also, good morning, Mike. How are you? Wait, who'd say I was donut? That was that was Denny. Denny said you were donut. No, who did you say was Donut? <laughs> I'm fine with Tucker, get the sword. Uh, I don't remember, I don't remember, Mike. <laughs> I kind of just want to stop playing right now and just start watching Red vs. Blue. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, like, no, Griff is, like, one of the best characters, I think. The one season where they go into, like, the live action and they do the studio thing, oh my god, that's it's just too funny. Yeah, seriously, I wanted Griff, but got Tucker. I don't think anyone's really church. Why does no one want to be Donut? He seems crazy. <laughs> yeah. And also, I think, a decent person. 
as well, Denny. It's weird. Also, a mix of Tucker and Simmons. I was going to say more of a mix of Church and Simmons, really, if anything, Mike. But yeah, it's Washington for me. I mean, again, if we're trying to archetype me into, like, first season stuff, it would be kind of church. But again, it's just not church, you know? <laughs> That's awesome, Denny. I also liked him whenever they would play, like, the GTA, just, like, online stupidity shit. Like, his stuff was always hysterical. I know Caboose's voice actor turned out to be... Not a good person. Um, Bernie was uh, crazy, uh, just in the sense of like, what's he do? Like, what he's doing now? Like, he lives in the UK now, I think, and has like another whole other media company, and just is like, it's just, it's, it's just his his career was like, it's just totally different now. It's just strange. Yeah, the heist man. Oh my god. He has. Nice. Fuck, I'm almost ready to rename 2-Bit Gary. What? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. I was like, for a moment there, Mike, I had no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, no. He turned out to be kind of. But hey, Caboose as a character is still hysterical. Oh, I can't remember now. Is it Joel? Is it Joel? I can't remember names. Yeah, Joel was. I think it's like more like recent now. Like it was like I say recent as it is like uh whatever. <coughs> Let's go in here and grab this uh Come on. Sam, come on. There we go. Sounds good. I'm right here. Oops. I honestly can't remember, guys. I think I'm mixing up a lot of names.
Joel was fired then. Okay. I can't even remember names now. Like, remember, I can't associate names of who's who at this point. Get out of here. All right, let's take a moment here, catch up. Oh no, I just ran into here to grab the companion cube. Yeah. I just know like it's a bunch of stuff. I need to put I need to put names to to, to cast is what I need to do right now. Cause I, I'm I'm like I'm kinda like having a moment here. Like a pin can. All that matters to me is that Gus and Griff are shining because those two always had me rolling laughing. Yeah. And finals for a long time. I haven't watched them for years though. All right. Come on. Yeah, Gus, I think, is a good person as well. So Matt, Matt, uh, human was Sarge. Bernie, Bar Bernie Burns, I'm sorry, was uh, Church. Alf Ramsey was Griff. Joel Heyman was Caboose. Shannon McCormick was Washington. Okay, we're getting some other, other names here. Huh, I didn't realize that. So I'm just looking up names right now. Yeah, he, I think that's actually was like his big thing, I think. If I remember right, I'm like behind now on you guys. Give me one second. And I got more into Funhouse, and then I stopped watching them too. The Minecraft update when I was alluding to Drew trying out, but instead he's yiffling 50 year old men as cat girls and fine. <laughs> uh. What does this chat become? What does this chat become? Yeah, what a king. <laughs> Cause man, 10 seasons of just pure awesomeness. It is. All right, let's head to the distro center. Look at all these roads we got now. Yeah. 
You could totally tell it was his hand can and his best friend just followed along since he voiced church. <laughs> oh, I had no idea he died, Denny. Wow. That's a that's a that's sad. It's a real sad thing. I didn't know we we're gonna have a sad stream day, Jesus. Aw. Died in a car accident. Oh, that's so that's awful. That would make sense on why there's like a little bit of a step down in quality then, for sure. Damn. He died from allergic reaction. Well, I would say a car crash is a kind of a violent allergic reaction. In a way. You know? <laughs> yeah, he died from allergic reaction to a tree, right? Speed limit. I love how we took that we were taking this joke now. That Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fuck, now I just want to watch Red vs. Blue tonight. <laughs> Damn it. I mean, do we want to? Is that what wants to happen? Do we just do a morning stream of Death Strand and we just keep watching Red vs. Blue? We must wait. Yeah, I think we need to wait. We're going to be watching four, two seasons. Three seasons uh, tomorrow. Let's uh, are blue. One day we'll cruise down Butch Gulch Avenue. Yeah, I need snacks too. I mean, I'm not doing a drunk watch along. I'm just watching. Only for store. Yeah, it's a store drunk watch along. <laughs> Cheat day? Everything all right, Zeph? I gotta hand it to you. Not many guys out there who can do what you do. So we have a Half-Life truck now. This is what we got. There we go. No shame in taking a break from time to time. <coughs> a little cheat day for you guys then. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further. I can't spell. It's okay.
Damn, it's a nice, uh... That's a nice layout, Vince. What did you use? Um... This, this layout? You're talking about this layout? This, this, this whole layout that I got? <laughs> What's the font for the AV? Um... It's, I made it myself. Special secret. What brand sure is it? This is an old navy. This is old navy. Um. <laughs> I know that answer now. <laughs> God, you guys are terrible. <laughs> you could sell them the intel. You could backstab me. Just like that. Okay, now you're going a little too far, Denny. I need you to I need you to pull back a little bit. Retrieval sticky guns. Sam, got a critical request. A shipment of experimental weapons has just been stolen by mules. They were scheduled to be delivered to Lake Knot City, but got picked off en route. The mules loaded them into their own vehicle and fled before help could arrive. And while we don't know their exact location based on eyewitness accounts, we've managed to narrow it to a small area. Track them down, secure the weapons, and deliver them to Lake Knot. Fucking Wendy's shirt. Here, let's take this to the cosplayer. Wendy's shirt for Vince. No. No. It's not happening. No, God bless America. All right, so let's do a sewing kit to the cosplayer first. Go fund me. Oh, that was another thing that was kind of funny on the on the YouTube uh, survey. They were asking like they were like for the services that we that I knew about. It was like uh, Twitch, Facebook gaming, Instagram. Then like it was like OnlyFans, like a few other things. And I was like, what? Why are you guys trying to figure out this type of stuff? Are you guys trying to maybe may launch your own service for that? Because that's gonna be uh, interesting. Uh, no, I can't. Sorry, sorry, Denny. I can't. I can't do that. You nudes. There you go. Mel, you might be ahead of the curve there. You fans. Uh, you're not tipping anything like that. That's not a thing. You should be in marketing, Mel. Or that seems like a that seems like a, that's a you problem, buddy. Jesus Christ, Mike. <laughs> Wait, can we vote on a fake Wendy shirt like Vinci's with Adam rocking pigtails? I'd buy that. Yeah. Uh. Our senses are tingling. Mel, are you getting the are you getting the Mel tingles? I would buy that. That's a different tingle. Take the bag, Vince. <laughs> All right, 
right, what's the easiest way to get down here for this person? It is to go down this way. Yep. There's no BTs here. Knock it off. Hmm. Astronaut in this. Astronaut and Returnal. It's all connected store. It's all connected, buddy. that delivering cargo wow mel <laughs> wow great you made it watch my friend cream over ceramics holy shit holy I told shit myself there were bound to be a few scratches but looks like i was wrong wow mel thank you for that tweet Marketing. <laughs> yeah, that is true. It is marketing. All right. Hey, we got a uh, that star there. I completely missed what this lady said to me. Can you make it official? Whenever I mention your name to my partner, he gets all excited and starts talking about how much he wants to meet you. Here on Insta, He's also less crude. Wow. Okay. Totally on board with it and everything. But I'm still having trouble wrapping my head around it. I guess what I'm saying is that I'm okay with trying it out, just without any of the extra strain. Well, thank you, Mel. I appreciate that. Option. If it is, then would you mind doing the honors? I smell a new... You just want to make roles for everyone. Like, Store, you are the, uh, the role player. So that's what you are. So since we have this now, we should have some access to the chiral network here, which will actually help out a little bit. Look at that. Look at all those little stars. <laughs> I'll roleplay with you. The German exchange student. What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> hey, Sam. Sam Bridges. Uh, welcome to our summer home by the fall. Oh, well, thanks for making the trip. I've always wanted to meet you. I know what you're thinking. Is that an otter on my head? Or am I just happy to see you? <laughs> well, both. Actually, the otter's a member of the Weasel family. I have Weasel All right, in my family. All right, Denny, have a great lunch, man. Brother. Thanks for being here. <laughs> and also, thank you for that Discord sub. I appreciate it. survive without land oh yeah they eat sleep even give birth all in the water the only thing they can't do in the water is drown <laughs> such good swim swimmers say ah, hey. <laughs> wow you laugh about as much as this guy okay hey, by the way you should have this it'll help you on your way yeah, don't worry about me. I've got an otter one. <laughs> Store. <laughs> yep. Otter one? That's pretty good. Come on. Oh, man, you're the only audience I've had in like 12 years. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that otter hat. Giving us the otter hood. By the way, that hood was threaded by the hand of my cosplay partner. And she's amazing. It's triple stitched. That's got silk. She's incredible. Wear it and you too can ride the river rapids without fear. <laughs> Unless you're afraid of looking too sexy. <laughs> oh, 
right? <laughs> really? Still nothing? You know what? Fine. Just go. Just go, okay? Yeah, and make the river your friend. That'll be fun. <laughs> Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. When I first saw it up close on zipline with Sam's real face, amazing. Maybe your guess shifted his weight. Isn't that fucking hilarious? There it is. Got a little hood. And there it is. Is there one above me at all? By chance? No, there's not one above me at all. Uh oh. Noted. <laughs> Woo! Look at us go! I'm going boldly into the water where no otter has gone before! Look at that! It is nice to have for the uh, water. Otters are like amazing, in my opinion. What was he doing to on BB's thing? He's doing like a little otter where he's like he's cracking a little nut on it. Look at him. Let's just have fun. Oh shit, look at us go. Look how far we can swim. Look at that. Holy shit. Yeah. All right, I'm convinced. I'm convinced that underwater and more water exploration is going to be a thing for the second game. 100%. Look at this. I'm sitting here just dicking around in water right now. This is what I would do on my day off if I could. Damn. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Sammy, I move, buddy. Drink some water here. Mm, that's good. All right. I love how we've done nothing today. Extreme splash. <laughs>
Oh, hey, everyone's resting over here. We can rest here for a little bit while we talk. Um, Ross. I fucking hate friends, just so everyone knows. Let's just sit here for a second. Like, if I could, if I had Thanos powers, I would distinctly remove friends from all timelines. I fucking hate friends. God, I hate friends. <laughs> That's savage. I just hate it so much. And the thing that just it sucks about it is that like Mel has left the chat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> just so everyone knows, I fucking hate friends. Uh <laughs> to be honest. To be honest, I also dislike how I met your mother. And even more to be honest, I also dislike Seinfeld. I'm only saying this because Linz isn't home yet, and I'm not going to get beaten yet. That's just me with Breaking Bad. Stores off the chat. Vince! <laughs> Everyone... Everyone sucks it off. I'm just sat here just loathing it. Yeah. I never got the Seinfeld love. No, I don't get it either. I don't get it either. Mel, I fucking love It's Always Sunny. Like, the episode of Charlie work with the health inspector, that's how I am at work. Now, I can't say anything negative about Curb, because I never really watched Curb. Or at least not enough to where I can be like, yeah, I liked it or disliked it. I am not a fan of The Office, I will say that. But, but, in the sense of like, I just don't think The Office is as, as amazing as what people say it is. I think it's a decent show, but I just, I don't think it's like this pent ultimate, like, comedy. Larry David makes me so happy. Remove my mustache. I will, Mike. <laughs> I quit in protest. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, we're gonna play Destiny tonight because Mel, they have a sip tea emote in Destiny 2. I just got it last night. I also want to play Destiny 2 tonight because I actually kind of want to actually get some progress done on that season. British Office is good, just different. But Mel, you're gonna die when you see that emote. When I got my tattoo, he put on The Office, and I was just like, alright, where's the funny? Or, we're not doing references Blue Rick. <laughs> we have to, we have to, uh, we have to save it for tomorrow. I'm like, I haven't seen the American one. Uh, hold up, guys, that's Lynn's calling me. She probably heard me talk slander about friends. I'll be right back.
All right. Let me see. Uh, all right, Vince, which is worse? Friends or Seinfeld? Friends, 100%. Uh, for me, at least. As long as we all enjoy Parks and Rec, a uh, show that I never really got into, Mike, but enjoyed any episode that I watched. Um, I loved Ron Swanson with my entire being. Copy, to be honest, I've only seen like Friends and Seinfeld and joined Community 2. Sunny, Rec, those, I've never seen them. I feel like you'd hate Always Sunny Store, all the characters are awful people. Kappa, well, be entertaining to see how much I hate it. <laughs> <clears throat> There we go. We got some rest and we can go back this way. Man, everyone just pees right here. It's kind of crazy. Did I just piss myself? I've seen the clip I've seen the clip from Rec Treat Yourself and talk more about how Europe is a trash continent. Okay. I it was because there was no way for them to make the content that way. That's what it came down to it. There was really no way for them to actually create the shots they needed. Is what really honestly came down to it. I still I still wonder that question to this day, Rick. What is he barking at?
All right, I'm sorry, guys. I'm back. I apologize. Uh, events. What a serious potential. Season one of RVB is first person. You can see the reticule. It is store, but the way Destiny was, there was no field of view or anything like that. It was all just straight up, um, anything like that. And it was, uh, and then they went back and reclipped it and everything like that. And it just became a thing to where they just didn't use it that way. You know? <laughs> like, they actually, they did talk about it. I do know that. Like, there was a discussion about making that a thing, and it was just too limited for them to do what they wanted to do with it. I do know that, for a fact. Uh, be called guard this dick. I'm sorry. Hunter versus Tyson versus Warlocks. Oh my. Yeah, all classes versus classes. Price of like class control. I honestly give a chance seeing how much Warlock fucking sucks. Snobs, me, just like core. Awful, awful way to represent the class. I'm a terrible parent. I just gave my cats catnip to shut them up. Did it work? <laughs> uh, so I think the plan here, guys, is um, we're going to stream for a little bit longer, to like around like two, and then um, we'll take a break. Cause like then we'll like Lindsay and I are gonna have like a very late like lunch early very very early dinner, and I'll probably come back like around like five thirty ish and we'll play a little bit there. So if we play Destiny two tonight, we might do a little bit of Destiny two and we might do a little Red versus Blue at the end. We'll see what happens. We don't know. I don't know. I'm not promising anything. I'm not promising anything. Responsibilities a little. A little tease. <laughs> because then, if we do season two tonight, we could do three, four, five, and which is like some of the better comedy that we could get tonight. I mean, tomorrow. So that would be better for everyone with snacks and drinks. Do you kind of get what I'm putting down? Plus, I can show you guys on being a pirate in Destiny for a little bit. Why is it so good? Because it's just good. Top quality underwear. It is. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad too, to be honest. Oh god, that's not actually working. You think? I think it's fine. It's rough, Mike. It's rough when you actually go back and like compare it. Eh. 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 Nah. Nah. I mean, that's the thing. That's the hard thing about it. When you get to the later seasons, there's still like such a massive upcrease in that. And then they went back and then they did, they went and redid the audio again anyway. And it's still kind of whatever. It's just, it's one of those things. It was, that's literally the hardware at the time they could use it with, which is understandable. But it is rough. It is very rough. There's lots of clipping everywhere. That's just me, though. Freaking audio snob over here. I just remember girl and RVB. Do the distro center mission here and then we'll run back and we'll do the sticky weapons mission and then we'll be up at lake knot and then we'll come back down again oh and i think fragile's at this uh break room here so we can probably get another cutscene from her as well yeah we were talking about that store
me a little armor, yeah. It is. <laughs> Alright, so is that the plan then tonight? Store, would you be able to okay. So wait a minute. Store, if that if later's really late for you tonight. What if we did seven o'clock tonight? We started the watch along first in Discord. 7 p.m. tonight. And then I'll pop up a Destiny 2 stream. Is what I'll do for the evening. For us to chill out then. Or 6 p.m. What would be better for you, Store? Yeah, we need Caboose. Six PM? Would six PM work for your store? Okay. How about we do that? How about we do we'll try to do six, six thirty. We'll do we'll do red versus blue season two in the briefing room. We'll watch that. And then I'll pop up Destiny Two for everyone else, the stream uh, on a YouTube stream for everyone. Just a public one. And then We'll do the secondary watch along tomorrow night and do that. We'll move we'll remove the stream there for tomorrow. And then we will yeah, we'll do another briefing. We'll do another briefing. We'll do an along briefing tomorrow. And then we will move Death Stranding's two streams to all day Saturday and just make it one big stream on Saturday. And we'll just make that a really big Death Stranding day. At risk of being annoying, Mike. What is Harvestella? I don't even know what it is. I don't even know what I don't even know what this game is. Who? Oh shit! Well, Mike, I'm not gonna watch it, but you usually have a really good, you have a good um, perspective on those types of games. So I'll, I'll look forward to seeing what you say about it. So we got the order complete. We got the truck lawn range now. So we have a lawn range truck. Okay. Imagine ruining the good part of Animal Crossing with Final Fantasy. I wish I could play like 14 for you guys, and I think you guys would really like enjoy 14 in that aspect. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. Oh, but no. Well, I have no issue with Final Fantasy. I know. I'm just saying. Like, I just it kind of like. Sure, I would. I've just been assaulted with it lately. <laughs> Store. Oh, shit, Mike. Wow. I know you probably don't care truly, Mike. But Corsair just sent me an email introducing Xeon Flex, the world's first bendable OLED 20 ultra-wide gaming display developed with LG Display OLED technology. Good morning, Sam. Blood collection. Yeah, 16's way more my thing, too, as well. Holy shit. Holy shit. Uh, wow. 800R curve. I wish it was a little bit more. 
You can bend the screen to the curvature you want from completely flat to up to 800R at any time. An ultra-wide 45, 1440p OLED screen built in partnership with LG Display at 240 hertz. Okay, Corsair, can you, can you sponsor me? Of course, there. I, I have all your products. I have all your products. Yeah, no, Mike, I'm sending you the link right now. Oh, here, I'll just post that to link right. God damn it. Like, oof. Yeah, Sam, I get it. Shut up. I well store. I have a Corsair case, a Corsair cooler, a Corsair RAM, uh, Corsair keyboard, Corsair uh, mice, uh, Corsair Elgato light, Elgato capture card, Nexus thing, Wavelink. <laughs> like <laughs> I have, I have a lot of shit. Damn. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Um, now I'm not distracted anymore. <clears throat> Let's take a shower here, because we were disgusting. Don't tell Corsair. Damn. Because I honestly think <clears throat> when all these monitors kind of fail, you know, because I, this one over here is actually already kind of starting to fail. <clears throat> I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to really wait. I think the Samsung one will always be fine because it's just been, it's been great this long run too. But I think what I'll do is I actually will probably get an ultra wide for my next actual big display, I think. And then have just a, a secondary monitor up top and just do it that way. <clears throat> Let's put our glasses on. I feel like we're not getting anything done in this game. <laughs> All right, let us head out then. I relinquished it from its suffering at work. I got gotcha. you. That's where I think I'm at too, Mike. I think that's that's honestly I think where it comes to me having the best thing. The only thing I'd be worried about would be scaling. So like right now the game is on the Odyssey monitor. Then I have the other Dell monitor over here where it actually has like the desktop, which is, this is mirrored up here on this, both ends this way. And I think that would be the only thing I'd be concerned about was like this section here having this source and then like this section being something else and just trying to watch scaling on that type of stuff. What, is, what does that symbol mean? Cargo for present. Sam present. I got that. But what's the FEX stand for? Oh, fragile. That's what I thought. But not that fragile, right. But that's why we wanted to go down here, so that way she could talk to us. 
So maybe we need to do a fragile jump. There we go. Be advised, Sam. The beach is an unstable mess at the moment. Until things calm down, Fragile won't be jumping you or herself anywhere useful. She's agreed to remain at the distro center south of Lake Knot City for the time being. Okay, yeah, I get that. Be advised. All right, shut up. The B. All right, that's weird. Hey, Vivi. Aww. Yeah, I don't know. God, I love how you just dislike BB. There we go. I've used your otter hood. You're my savior, no doubt about it. So the incinerator, strange life, the incinerator at West Knot Capital Station. <laughs> All right, sorry about that. I thought Fragile would show up here now. That's weird. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Sam. I remember that quest line. Not married Fox, yeah. Could do an attachment here, but that's about it. And then we have accessories, we have our windmill. Oh wait, was that a thing there? Sand no like you. Nah, Sand doesn't like me either. It's totally fine. Here, we'll put a windmill on. There we go. Yeah, I don't know where she's at, so never mind. Take a look. This is what the world looked like hundreds of millions of years ago. God, store. It was just one big continent. Do you know what this is? I think we've seen this one, right? Yeah, we've seen that one. Maybe, oh wait. All right, that's our destination, which I get, but uh, where's Fragile at? Fragile Express, I can see that. Retrievable sticky guns. Standard bot deliveries. These are done. Maybe that's what it was yelling at me for. <laughs> God. He's hot. Alright, I'm gonna go to the firing range then, see what about the uh, see about this rank stuff. So then we have a bunch of other ones here, and then we have rank drills now we could do. So these are the ones we have right now. So what, is the, what are our ranking rewards? We would get medals, which we've earned this banner before. Oh wait, no we haven't. We haven't done this one. So that would be this banner here, 
you would earn this here, which is a lot of metals, and you hear a lot of ceramics. Oh, best total score, best total score, best total score. So these are all the rank ones you can keep doing here. Um, meh. We don't worry about it. This was out of curiosity. I guess I have to, I have to leave this way. Whoops. All right. Sorry about the odd like odd stuff there, guys. That was just um, a little all over the place. Okay. Here we go. I don't know what Fragile wants, so... Let's get the sticky guns uh, stuff done. So we will do this. When are we starting tomorrow for, for red versus blue? Probably around the same thing. Uh, we'll probably do like a 6.30, I think. Because I work until 3. I probably won't get home until 4. So that'll probably just be the best bet for it, you know? The sticky gun is a weapon that launches an adhesive projectile. Gun and projectile are connected by a wire which can be engaged to pull in targets. It's strong, too. Could support up to several dozen kilos. You can use it to secure cargo at a distance. Right out from under a mule's nose, maybe. You're a clever guy, so... I'm sure you can think up a few other applications. Just comes down to how mm. creative you can get. And just so you know, Sam... Yeah. You can use the firing range to practice with the sticky gun. It might be prudent to get there and familiarize yourself with it. There we go. Let's head out. Order of time. So the sticky gun. I think I kind of remember this a little bit from the... Uh, My favorite? I don't know. That's a hard one, I think. That's a very hard one, Rick. Um, I personally think it's probably Griff is like number one, not like number one, number one. You know? Yeah, that's the thing. Church's story is great. Caboose has great moments, but I think Griff has like the most like kind of more my humor type deal. Me no no, yeah. I feel like anytime Griff is on a scene. It's, uh, it's funny, you know? Gimme. got upgrades.
Come on, Sam. There we go. All right, so not the best, not the best attempt there. Not ready to drop. Not the best attempt there, but uh, we kind of somewhat decent there. All right, there's that. Yep, let's grab that. So I need to hold this. Is what it needs to be. So there's this. So if you're doing this. Store in the back. Yeah, you really honestly don't. Sticky guns. There we go. Not too bad. That could be, uh... In one of the private briefings. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I know, man. It would be nice. I need to see how I can make it work because since Google Play doesn't work for letting me capture, I need to figure out a better way of doing it. Wow. Wow, store. That hurts me a little bit, bud. The Destiny series is a much is a must, yeah. If it does happen. Well, physical media would need HDCP to be captured on that. So... Speaking of adaptions, let's do the horizon too, so I can just sit with a sour face. Yeah, that day's gone recast is just dumb. I don't store. Yeah, but, and I don't get why they're making it a movie. I feel like a, a, a show for Days Gone would make more sense, I feel, you know? Well, good for you. Good for you, buddy. Well, Mel, the best thing about the uh, the Horizon show or movie, if they ever make one, would be how many times they call Aloy flame hair. You know, that would be the best part about it.
that guy, that, that dude's got an arm. Man, that girl's got an arm. Let's turn this in here. Good work, Sam. The weapons you've recovered are something the techs have been calling sticky guns. Anyway, none of this. Fish grats and easy and cheap. We kept a nice store. In the first place. Let's check the cargo. Great. Most of them are accounted for. Thanks to you, we've kept the damage to a minimum. Is it good? I said it was easy and cheap. Hey, sometimes it's all you need. So now we can make that and we missed that. And then we got a new backpack uh, customization thing. Cool. Alright, is there any other orders for Sam other than this one? Let's do this recovery of the chip stolen by mules. This is the cyberpunk stuff. I am too, bud. I am I am too. But it's okay, we can be broke together. Big same, yeah. We're all at that point right now. No. Didn't you just go on vacation? Yeah, man, that's gotta be exciting. kill someone by doing this. I know this much. There you go. That's awesome, man. still up. Everyone should be a sleepy sleep, right? Yeah. There we go. There's another another set done here. Let's just grab this chip. Uh, yeah, I think it's just two weeks for us here, depending on your job. It very much depends on your job. Bum, bum, bum. 
And there we go. So we got this one done. And I guess we can do the main mission. Or maybe you have to do... You start the main mission and you stop at the distro center. For you to have that conversation with uh, that. Nice. I had worked the 60% required already. Anything else is bonus. Gotcha. Hey, Sam. Good to see you. The legend does it again. There we go. Everything looks to be in perfect condition. Thank you, Sam. Nice. So yeah, unfortunately, I think I broke the overlay. We're supposed to have 94 uh, subs, but we don't. And it's, so it's it's always like behind one, which I don't quite understand. So we have a reverse trike. So we got a brand new uh, that and has upgraded the compass. Can now be used to temporarily disable sensor poles. Oh, that's pretty cool. So we can sneak even better in a... Uh, in uh, mule camps. Always a pleasure. Nice. There we go. Good work. New All right. So let's do orders for Sam. So we have our emergency provisions delivery to South Knot City. The people down in South Knot City have had to suffer through a lot of terrorist attacks lately. We need you to bring them as much as you can of whatever you can. Food, oxytocin, the essentials. None of which can be sent by a Cairo printer. Okay, so we're going to do this. And let's make a truck, I think. There's our half-life truck. Load that all onto that so we have that all ready to go. Head out. Yep. Unable to process order. Unable to process order. Please stand by until the problem can be rectified. Oh, hi. Uh, Sam Bridges, I presume? Sorry about that. The uh, system seems to be on the fritz. Uh, one of the packages wasn't processed properly and got left out of the order. It says here the client is fragile herself. Someone double tagged it so the system couldn't tell whether it's for Fragile Express or Bridges. It's funny, I actually didn't ever notice that it was Troy. You know? Careful. The contents are fragile. <laughs> okay. You know, that's what I'm saying, like... I never uh, realized that at first. I knew it, I was like, I was like, oh, this guy's shady, but I never realized that was actually Troy. You know, small thermonuclear weapon. That's where I was kind of like, what? What? It's Troy? Yeah. Yeah. For whatever reason, for whatever reason, I just, I, I just totally blanked out on it. I think I was so focused on the package where I like, I totally ignored the the dude. You know. Small scale nuclear bombs. Count on time will start as soon as separated from Sam. It will detonate when the counter reaches zero when, or when it enters fra uh, south, not city. Fragilene takes a look at this. Okay. I remember this. This is because you go there. Yep. For whatever reason, I just was like, near. Nope. So we'll go to uh, yeah, you know, we'll go to the distro center to talk to Fragile, and if I remember right, we're just gonna have to just take this uh, to the uh, to the lake and we just toss it in. What's the funny thing? Middle Knot City got nuked.
Long story short, the start screen delivers a whole lot more thoroughly. Now that made a difference. It was one tragedy after another. We lost half a lo south, not city long after. Okay. Look at this truck. Just look at it. I want to know who's making nukes in this world. That's actually a really good point, Store. It's B-colored. It is B-colored. If only the uh, symbol was blue, like a cyan, it'd be perfect, right? Thinking V. It takes a lot of time enriching uranium and a lot of very specialized machinery. No, I, I get that. Probably they probably have something to do with like the way chiral printing can work and yada 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 and blah blah blah. There's probably some way for them to explain it. You know. Fragile's right there. And we're gonna go this way. We can talk to Fragile to get that little bit more of a backstory. That was a good one, Store. I'll, I'll, I'll say that was a good one. That was a good one. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges on the terrifying item. All three. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. Yeah, so who do we talk how do we talk to, to the fragile? Just out of curiosity. Hi, uh, Sam Bridges, I presume. It says here the client is fragile herself. Be careful. The contents are fragile. Oh, did we blow it up? talking about the package I picked up for you the one from Lake Knot hold on I wasn't expecting any package he said fragile herself was the client the system was down so some bridges delivery guy had to hand it over in person who look the point is it was Higgs come on I need to see it now I love how he's still like reflected back from preventing her from touching It's 
to nuke! Not again. The bastards can do this to me again. The timer's already started. I can't stop it. We only have one option. Sam, you've got to get rid of it. Take it down to the crater next to South Knot. It's a tar pit. Damn near bottom left. If we chuck it in there, we just might have a chance. Yeet, 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 Nice. But I got this. Get the nuke there ASAP and dispose of it. We got this though. Look at that. It's a good thing I like somehow knew to build all these roads to make my life a whole lot easier for this mission. Isn't that crazy guys how that works out? I remember the first time I did that that was actually I actually had I had most of the roads built up to like here and I actually think I went all the way around and came down this way and threw it in that way you're so smart so smart you oh this wasn't a dig at anyone to be honest it, it wasn't actually honest dig. I'm just saying it's just, it's crazy on how like the game like it was just one of those things like wow it's like crazy on how whenever things are done that together like yeah like it would have been different if the game would have been like hey you can't build the roads past this certain point like could you imagine if they would have made it to where you can't build the road until you go visit the location first that would have been tough But we miners, we dig. Keep on keeping on. Oops. I was just saying it rock and stone. Missed your other comment store. Rock and stone. It's this mission's rough if you don't have at least a few of the roads built in. It's tough. All right, I know I don't want to go too far. But I think right here should work. I think I should be able to run straight down. Yeah. I should have the uh, I should have the small thermonuclear weapon. Yep. I love the tick it has. But I also like how have you knows you knows how it doesn't rain here. When you're doing this mission. No, I'm just saying, like... Fuck.
Again, there was an explosion, yeah. Jesus, that was close. You saved the city and everyone in it. I love a lot more than I ever did. Maybe there's no way of saving Metal Knot. But South Knot's still here. Because of me. And you. Yeah, no, I agree with you, Rick. What happened to you? By the time I realized what Higgs was planning, the nuke was already at the city gates. I followed the delivery truck and somehow managed to carry the bomb to safety. But Higgs had been on to me from the start. He caught me red-handed outside the gates, nuke still cradled in my arms like a child. So, as punishment, he strips me down to nothing, and then he makes it rain. Yeah. Listen up, Fragile. I got a proposition for you. Do you want to live out your days as damaged goods? Or would you rather take damage for the goods? Get to the point. All right. If all you want is to save yourself, you just have to jump. However, if you want to see this altruistic streak of yours through, then you'll have to carry my nuke to the bottomless pit and toss it in. No, oh, sure, you'll be the city's savior. But you will have to walk naked through time fall to do it. Trade a lot of your time for a little bit of the city's? <laughs> Hell, seems like a fair exchange to me. Is I don't much care for my face. That's why I hide it. Oh, but you. Oh, you just love yours, don't you? I bet Daddy was real proud. Oh. Don't worry. I won't mess it up. See, I want your face to be a kind of testament. Yeah. Why did you do it? Why did you betray me? Because I found someone who completes Right. Me. Someone who doesn't need me to wear a mask. Oh. to the wise even if you do save South Knot you'll always be the nut job who blew up middle Knot. oh and that pretty face of yours will always be remembered as the face of a terrorist they'll never stop hunting you believe me I know well they can slap a sticker on you but you're still gonna break in transit so, what's it gonna be? Hmm? I'll take the damage. 
and the goods. I don't break that easy. Uh, well, good luck with that. I don't break that easy. Dick. Yeah. It is. Because I'm fragile. But I'm not that fragile. Belongs to you. I'm no hero, Sam. But that choice I made, I've regretted it ever since. Hey, Thunderous. <laughs> All I had to do was jump, and I could have saved myself. But instead, you saved a city. And more than that, you gave people hope. Well, now there's only one person left for me to save. I'm gonna make Heath's regret he ever crossed me. By killing him? I can't. He's way more powerful now than he was before. But you could take him. You could. But promise me. Promise me you'll leave him alive. There's something I want to ask him to his face. I didn't think you were capable of torture. I'm now. And I want to know why he betrayed me. Do you want it? I like that. All these times of him saying no. And then he takes it. They look like real people at times. It's insane. Sam. Don't like this is like an so ultra bad. stylistic shot of some of some real acting. It's just, it's, it's crazy. Outstanding, Sam. Now let's get your cargo to South Knot City and put those people on the network. Hey, there we go. Let's just take a, let's take a little walkie walk. Oh yeah, probably, but it's okay. Curiosity keeps me confused. 
There's a few that he could use uh, from their latest album he could use. I was actually kind of thinking that The National might also be a good vibe for him on uh, on Death Stranding 2. That and Wood Kid. Yep, but it'll probably be something new and we're all going to probably love it. Oh, nice thunder's quiet. That's good. You having a good day? I didn't realize they have a valve for the gas tank. Do a slow crawl here. <laughs> You're welcome. I know the moment we hit that, we hit this like barrier thing is where we, uh, crazy. I also didn't put my glasses on, so that sucks. Because we have a truck. I did hear about it. I don't currently have Spotify right now because I moved the title, but uh, I might like check that out. Oh, can I not really climb up this? Damn. That's annoying. Well, never mind then. Yeah, I agree. That's going to be awesome, though. All right. That's a song. That's a, that's a good song there. Here we go. Turn this on. All clear. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. Let's do that. Deliver the request to cargo. And there we go. other place to deliver stuff to s ranks we have fragile attentive bidding goodbye we got another song the lighthouse and the whalers music will fit the vibe i'll need to check them out um when, when i take the break and see uh, if i if i agree with you on that i'm pretty sure i will like i said i think the national might fit the vibe a little bit like a few of their songs and key moments would make sense 
Um, especially if uh, if Lou is older and we're having like more like you know parent like parents child type stuff in that that those songs might fit that connection there a little bit. Ooh, check out We Are Infinite. Okay. I will. I'll remember that. So is it true the chiral network is finally becoming a reality? I can't believe it. It really can. It feels like a dream almost. If it's not a dream, yeah. We want to be part of it. That's bait. There we go. So we got this whole region connected. <laughs> so hey, we got a handgun. We got an assault rifle now. We got a grenade. And then we have a new situation at the first up there. An instant, new blue, no blue in the inverted rainbow, and giant BTs. And there we go. We got all that stuff. I don't think we could have survived without outside assistance. The chiral network could make a huge difference, make repairs more manageable. It could help us finally get back on our feet. You've given us a gift more precious than you know. When we lost Middle Knot City, it felt like there'd be no end to the violence. I woke up every day thinking it might be our last. Yet, here we are. By the grace. Yeah, well, let's just say I don't believe in miracles or luck. Hell no. It does, Store. I believe in people. It does. And it was people that saved us. Just like you did today. Now it's our turn to pick up the pieces and do the same for others. So this should be the end I, of Fragile. I'm sorry. I gotta get this to everyone. We really appreciate so we should be moving on to the fourth chapter, which I think is Mama. Good work, Sam. I'll see that your supplies are ready and waiting. I suppose I don't need to tell you to take care when you come fetch them. What do we got here? We got a few things here, don't we? All right, let's actually go ahead and just store these guys all in the uh, private locker here. Saved South Knot City and brought our people even closer together. You're halfway there. Halfway to making us whole again. Make us Listen, whole. There's something I need to tell you. Sam, Emily's connection just dropped. We've been rooting our calls through the old system. Yeah. Must be a problem with the lines. Make us whole. I'll look into it. Let's just hope. Dead space, is that serious. you? Alright. Hold up. Sam, I'm detecting a chiral spike. Right in your vicinity. These numbers are off the charts. This might explain the sudden service interruption. Whatever's causing it could pose a threat to the not cities. Get out there and investigate. Are we doing this now? Take a look outside. Well, if we're taking a look outside, hold up. I hate that. I have to get rid of it when it happens. So, did anyone see the Callisto Protocol stuff then? Yeah. Is Denny here? Yeah, I think it looks really great. Oh, gotcha. Everyone's just trying to figure out how Rick is.
So that little twist at the end there was us uh, going through a time. All right, here we go. This is the part I was dreading. All right, how many times do you guys think this is going to take? It's a cool scene. There's no way on the first try, I don't think, Rick. This I struggled with this on hard, I remember to begin with. We'll see. See, this is where he's going to be able to make a great horror game. If he if he makes a horror game, he's got the he's got the scene and directing ability to do it. Combat veteran, Mads. <laughs> yep, episode four. Oh boy. Here we go. Hey, then we died. I forgot about the I forgot about the uh I forgot about the uh the the plane that happens there. Whoops, my bad. All right, so there's one. Yes, I was trying to go fast, but
Okay. Yeah. Gotta be way back. All right. Hold up. Why is it called tank store? Oh, that actually kind of is funny. <laughs> Who is that asshole anyway? Remember. Remember.
on, game. No, why is that store? That was a bad idea. That makes sense. Yeah, I'm not doing a good job here uh, of this. But I, I distinctly remember the second and third encounters being a lot easier for me. I remember this one being very tough. Oh, 
Yeah. Okay, that's one stage down. Yeah. I need to eat one of these. Do we have... Let's drop this. Let's drop this. Alright, so he's on the other side of me right there. So that's fine. Okay. Get back out there. Out there. There's our guys. So they're doing a patrol there, then he should be following behind them. Yeah, there he is. He's doing his searchy search. He's taking a smoke. That's where I'm dying. Grab a few of these here. Okay. Oh, I see them. So let's try to go to the back end here. Yeah. I think he sits at certain spots that I don't have a lot of ammo left. Uh, I'm trying, man. Okay. 
God, this guy won't go down. There it is. grab an assault rifle and everything like that over there. Just it's a matter of just learning the, the layout here. These guys can't do anything with that. All right. I need to go grab more of these guys. Okay. Yeah, I, I actually remember that, that point. all his reinforcements. Alright, second stage. Alright, eat a crypto bite. One more time. Alright, I'm just gonna drop this. Alright, so maybe I was playing a little bit a little too sneaky here. Maybe I just needed to just take them out. Way, Sam. Get a crypto bite. Him, 
I remember the whale not to. I got the whale done my first time. Uh, because that was easy for me. I remember this was this was the place where I had the most problems. This was the this was the encounter that I had the most issues with. to run. We probably need to calm BB down. Game on, motherfucker. Oh, wow. Who said that? That was uh that was Cliff. Bring it on. Cause it was orange text. Hi guys. Get down. There. That should be a significant amount of damage to Cliff. Ow. Stages? Are we doing four stages? I thought it was three. All right, I guess we're doing four stages. Shit! God, this is long. We need reinforcement. Move! 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 Move. Move.
That's what I'm saying. The game or the rule of th games is three. I guess so. Oh man, that's rough. Just, uh... Cliff, go the other way. Remember. Remember. Get down. Run. Oh shit. Oh shit. Cliff was very angry there. He's actually very mad. His voice lines are different right now. Yeah, his voice lines are all different now. I didn't notice that first time. I he is very angry. I have 19 bullets. Grab these up here. He is pissed. <laughs> All right, let's do this, and then let's uh, let's drop these things here real quick. Offload, offload, additional cargo. Everyone's calmed down. Yell at me, Cliff. Mel's here for it. <laughs> Fuck.
Okay. Keep your Keep eyes, eyes peeled! That's where they are. Oh shit. Got it. Went for the shoulder slam and then I got him with the head shot. Fuck. That was technically one. I died at the very start from the plane hitting me, so two. So it was two then, store. Oof. That was a C, though. I did not do good there. I did not do well there. Imagine Mads carrying you. Which means... No. Where am I? Say again? What happened to me? The second you left the distribution center, the storm blinked out. Just like that. Chiral density dropped almost as fast. I got caught in the storm and I was in a war zone. See, like, this is where they could do times. Daydreaming, Sam? Times were only down for a second. So, I mean, he has no, time that he can play around longer than that. with. There was this soldier. He tried taking my BB. If you say so. <laughs> the little one can vouch for me. Sam? It's been less than a minute since we last spoke. I can't be right. I was there for... for hours, it felt like. Maybe you should rest a bit. Never mind. Coming to you. It's a shame I can't meet you halfway. We're, like, right there. No. You get right. Be careful, Sam. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to seeing you. It's been a while since I've had company. 
Okay. And now this hard part. All right. Okay, so we're at Higgs fucking cool. Okay, check out We Are Infinite. Okay, we have more Riffo. Blah, 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 blah. Love it so much. Show, 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 please. I need it. Okay, so, oh, rifle. Show rifle. Show, show, show. I struggled here. Please, show, I need it. Uh, the Enfield. Uh, but I drew listen to Cliff so much. M1987 trench guns. Probably the Lee Enfield. British rifle. 303 British. Funny thing about it is it held 10 rounds on paper. I died there because Rick said F, but he put in five rounds, shot two, then put five more in case you put in all ten of the jam. Where's all his firearms launch coming from? The maximum gun. Uh, Craigasm. I love guns. I love guns. I could. <laughs> I'm on guard. That that guy in uh, The first tank. You know what they call a tank? Funny story, really. The Brit call a tank when a spy. Yeah, we talked about that, the water tank. He is so fucking cool. There's also one World War German tank in existence left. Smoking cool. It's cool, kids. I wonder how he feels about Kojima wanting to bang him. We talked about that. Uh, all right, German tank. So German tank was in the middle of no man's land, aka Deathfield, right? And I broke down, and then one unit went. Oh, I want that. And fucking went in the middle of the night, crawled out in no man's land, and brought it back with no tactical advantage. It had no purpose. It was literally I want. And that's how we have a single German World War tank in the museum today. It's also called a tank if, if it has a can. It was just a machine guns. It's a tankette. The Japanese also had a tank where the turret was operated manually as he turned it hand by hand. Uh, the, Japanese made some weird guns in World War II. Also, you also know why the trenches are, we wind are weird like that? Because they have all those corners and shit. There's a reason for that. Well, when an explosion happens in the trenches, the corners will diffuse a shockwave and prevent it from traveling the length of the trench. There's so many telescope variants of the rifles during World War I. I love it. The ingenuity of weapons of war are absolutely fascinating. Vince is going to have to read back read so much. Church us. Church is much easier. Dusty to the night, homie. Yes, Italian mob. Uh, thunder's quiet. Most rifles these days don't look the same. There's no more iconic looking ones anymore. Store. Yeah, that's the sad part about weapons being optimized. That there's always the outliers. Like the FM. Like sorry. Though there are always the outliers. Like the FMG9, the Famous, the Chris Vector is what comes to mind. Uh, oh God, yes. Tar 21, but it's a submachine gun. No, the Tar uses rifle rounds. FMG9 is SMG. I mean the Vector. Yeah, the Vector is SMG. 45 ACP. Vince doing a lot of this more sneaky than I did. Funny how the M16 had an incredibly recognizable shape. Now it's just an AR rifle. Got all them rails and shit. That's how I did it, Kappa. That's more how I did it. Uh, the fun fact is it's very commonly known that Germans won the shotgun ban from warfare. Yes, there are laws in war because of the damage it would do to the soldier. They claimed it was an inhumane weapon. Doing great. The M1897 is one of the shotguns that can slam fire, which means you can hold a trigger down, wreck, and it would fire a shot as put to the barrel. There's also a fun fact uh, that he's commonly known. During World War I, people put... During World War One, they put people who shot birds or clay pigeons on shotgun duty. Their job was to shoot grenades out of air. Wonder how the whale will go. That's an interesting store. Gotcha. Also planes. The first plane was used solely for reconnaissance, and pilots would just wave at each other. Then they started shooting each other with their pistols. It was a bit into the war when they started putting tail gunners on planes, and they figured out how to synchronize the machine gun fire with the propeller so they wouldn't shoot their own propeller and shit. They also dropped bomb by hams. Who said that? Wow. He said, I fuck back. Cap, does it show? How much does it get? What? I want my BB. But the gaming thing of is rule of three. So that's why Rick says BB sometimes. Maybe very hard adds another. When you play very hard, Cliff gets extra angry and refuses to die. Kick, punch, all it's all in mind. Cliff very angry. Him pissed. Damn, yeah. It sounds like me on multiverse is God's hot. Sounds like he's Drew's <laughs> streams Final Fantasy. Sounds like it's me when he Drew streams Final Fantasy. Yell at me, Cliff. Mel, hey, I know. Fucking different. Be on, you all know what, but I'm still going to judge. That was three tries. And we're back. Oh, also, Alyssa White Gulls is my favorite vocalist. I'm hoping she comes on stage soon. Soon, okay. As I completely butchered all the English language there. Sam, the seat to Mama's lab. Mama was part of the Cupid R&D team. However, from the start, she had concerns about its long-term viability felt Cupid's had fundamental flaws, which might explain the strange phenomenon you experienced and the spike in chiral density. You should pay her a visit. See what she has to say. Let me recycle all this stuff first here, okay? I'm just recycling all this. There. Just recycle it all, please. Clean it up. Okay. There we go. <sighs> Thank you for your contribution. Wow. We got a bunch of likes there. Have a pleasant journey. Got 
Got our glasses. All right, let's go talk to Mama, and then we'll probably end the stream there, guys. I'll take these things here. That's empty, and I'll leave them here. People can grab them. Yeah. And then we will come back like around 6, 6.30. I'll let you guys know ahead, a little bit ahead of time. We'll do Season 2 of Red vs. Blue as a briefing. And then we'll do Destiny 2 right after that season's done. <laughs> Violets are blue. One day we'll cruise down Blood Gulch Avenue. Uh, we're going to do a briefing uh, in, on a Discord for it. We're going to do Season 2, is what we're doing. And then after that, we're going to go play Destiny. All right, here we go. Cutscene time, and then this is where we'll end the stream after this cutscene's done. I love how we have the Otter Hood just chilling out with us. Right? I don't get it. It's such a really cool thing. Episode 5, Mama. She's hungry. What She can't drink it. My body keeps making it. Going through the motions really helps with the soreness, though. What is she? She's my daughter. And I'm her mama. It's okay. She's only connected to me. It's not like the other BTs. <laughs> you can see it, right? You're hooked up. Now you know why I can't leave. So about the supercell. You think the grown ups could talk for a minute? No. Thank you. Look at this. 
This was the chiral density when the supercell appeared. But almost immediately after, it dropped to normal levels. In other words, the storm vanished in less than a second. That's impossible. Okay, let's pull the data from your cufflinks and take a look then. Well, that's all pretty crazy, but at least you're not. <laughs> Timestamps in the logs support your story. Best guess I can muster is you were trapped between two different space times. Two different space times. HQ is doing a deeper analysis. All they've got to work with is the frequency spectrum. But with a little effort, they should be able to figure out where you were sent. Another Cairo spike. She's been crying more at night. Chiral density increases in regions connected to the chiral network, but the numbers are way, way higher than I projected. That's bad, right? Yeah. More connections means more Chirelia. Early on, Bridges did acknowledge this as a potential problem, so I installed special limiters in the cupids to keep the chiral levels in check. Looks like the limiter on yours is faulty, though. The supercell and the temporal phenomenon that you experienced may be related to all this. Are you saying if I keep extending the network, we might be in for more temporal phenomena? Maybe. Or worse, we cause another death stranding. Oh, but you got a solution. Of course I've got a solution. Right over here, in fact. We just need to integrate the limiter into this new cupid I threw together. Thought I'd make you one since you said you were coming. I think it's cool like they just like float, but like they don't, but they do. Great, crisis averted. No, crisis not averted. We need to rewrite the software to work with the new hardware. Well, then get to it. <laughs> yeah, um, no can do. I designed the hardware, but the software was written by someone else. Well, where can we find them? Her. The name's Lochner. She was a member of Bridges One. You'll have to head to Mountain North City. All right, I gotta take a cupid there anyway. Oh, good. That's great. Oh, here we go again. I don't know what's gotten into her lately. She's so scared. Look at her. Maybe the other side wants her back. Or maybe she wants to go back. We can't keep on like this. That much I know. Tell me what happened. She was due. I was in the hospital waiting for a C-section. Then the terrorists hit us. This is rough. This is one of the best scenes I thought in the game. Hello? Is anyone there? I was pinned under the rubble. Nothing to do with. Wait. And wait. <laughs> Felt like forever. But no one came. At least I had air and water. Someone help me, please! 
I don't know how many days went by. The water ran dry and the cold set in. gave birth there in the rubble. But instead of bringing life into the world, I brought death. It's the eye movement that I think is the most impressive. Over they had just a little bit better pupil dilation, I think. I'm over here. And we've been together ever since. But she's a BT. The ties that bind her to this place bind me too. You could say I've never really been discharged. And you're okay with that? She's gone. You want to live your life in the shadow of the dead? Come on. You, of all people, you chose the dead over the living. Why else would you be here? I just remembered. Dead men told me repatriates have special blood. Mind if I take a sample? Yeah, sure. Suck me dry. You already believe me in my sleep. Uh, a bit cold, ain't you? Just a second. There. All done. I want to run a test. Damn, Mama, are you? I'm sorry, Sam. Would you mind leaving us alone for a while? Yeah. I gotta get to work. Yeah. Sam? Hey, forget what I said about Kyle's bikes. It's reconnecting the world comes first. Maybe we're making things worse. Maybe not. But it's the only plan we've got. Good luck, Sam. Sam, the delivery terminal outside still works. Go ahead and get it connected. I'll give you further instructions. I think we also unlock zip lines. Sam, your next objective is to bring Mount Knot City into the network. Yep. And this route will take you to a way station and on to a distro center north of the city. From there, it gets tricky. You'll have to take a detour to get around the mountains. Still won't be using this cupid on the way? Software's not been rewritten yet. It's fine. If you link up Mountain Knot City after your cupid is fixed, the update should filter through the network, stabilizing the connection. It's just one more reason to get there ASAP. But for now, make do with the cupid you've got. Okay. Uh -huh. Any word from Mama Lee? None. We'll just have to hope she's all right and keep going. It's what she would want. Anyway, check in at Lake Knot City's Southern Distro Center before you hit the road. Okay. And good luck out there. By the way, Sam. Mama, you're right. I've added a zip you're right there. schematic to your PCC. Figured it would come in handy. All you need to set one up is at least two anchors. Why bother carrying cargo across a river or up a steep hill when you can just send it through the air? Am I right? If you want a little hands-on experience, you can use the anchors outside my lab. Have yourself some fun. 
The good news is, Fragile's available and willing to lend you a hand. If you want Fragile to send you, you'll need yeah. to head to a private room. South Knot City looks closest from what I can see. It'll be a lot quicker than walking, that's for sure. But you can't take any cargo with you, so there's that. It's up to you. Just remember the options there if you need it. Alrighty, guys. I think we did it. Alright, yep. Yep. I think uh, I think this game is my biggest nightmare. What is that store? <laughs> uh, that's a joke. Alright. Well hey, you guys keep an eye on Discord. We'll try to start like around six six around six, six thirty. And then after we do uh, our briefing, we will go and do some destiny. We'll be some pirates. You guys can enjoy it. It's just gonna be a super chill out for, uh, stream for the night. Then tomorrow we'll just kinda do that and we'll we'll just reconvene then, okay? But yeah, no, awesome stream. Thanks, guys. We got 117 views on this. Mel, thank you for the tweets out and on Instagram, apparently. Uh, you know, I, I really appreciate that. Um, but yeah, thanks for all the likes, guys. I'm going to head out, and we'll see you all later tonight with some Destiny 2. Take care, everyone.